In this video, we'll be exploring Contacts, which is part of Travify's CRM tools that is built into your Travify account and is going to allow you to manage and organize your client and business contacts easily. Now, let's go and talk about how do we get there? When you first log into Travify, you'll be on your trips list. However, in the navigation area, you'll have your Contacts tab. And once you select that, you'll be on your Contacts list. The next step is how do we add contacts in here? There are two ways of doing so from this screen. You can either import your contacts, and this is going to show you how you can set up a spreadsheet to import your clientele, or you can always download the template file, which is already going to have these columns and rows set up for you, where you can easily input that information, and once you're done, upload it here, and then confirm and import. The other way of doing this is by selecting new contact in the top left, and by doing so, it's going to open up a blank contact profile for you to fill in with information. I'm actually going to go ahead and click out of this contact and into my contact Jack Doe. Here, we'll find general information where you can place any demographic information about your contact, as well as email, phone number, and address. Contacts can have multiple emails, phone numbers, and addresses in them. Simply click add, type in that information, select the check mark, and you're good to go. Below that, we'll see additional information. Here, you can put in your contact's birthday, a special anniversary they may be celebrating, as well as any loyalty program that they're associated with. Below that, we have travel preferences. Here, you can add the different preferences of your contact, such as the types of beds they like in hotels, the meals they'd like to have on their vacation, even the type of seat they'd like to sit in on their flight. At the very bottom, we have passport information. Here, you can add in all the pertinent passport information needed for your contact. You can have multiple passport information blocks in one contact, which does make it helpful if you have a minor traveling with an adult. If we scroll to the top, we'll see custom fields. Custom fields is a great way to collect additional information from your contact that may not be included in the sections below. If I want to add another custom field to this contact, I would simply click add custom field, manage custom fields, and then add another field right here. So I am going to ask what is their favorite airline? And then over here in the box to the right, I can decide, is this going to be a short text? Is this going to be a date? Or is this gonna be a protected field if we need a little bit more security for this answer? The choice is yours, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with short text, click the check mark, and now I'm ready to add that. You can add custom fields to forms, so when your contact fills that form out, that information will automatically flow over to their contact profile. Now, let's go and take a look at the other tabs that we have here. Under tasks, this is where you'll see any tasks or automations that you've set up for your contact. If you'd like to learn more about tasks and automations for your contacts, please check out our getting started guide regarding that. The next one is notes. Here, this is a private notepad where you can jot down any information you need about your contact, such as summaries from client calls or any information that you wanna have down for them. The next area is trips. Here, you'll see any trip that this contact is associated with. After that, we have forms, and then here you'll see any form that you've sent to your client. You'll be able to see if they've responded to it, if they viewed it, or if they haven't gotten to it yet. You can also view their responses here by clicking the View Responses button, and you can also download a PDF of their answers as well. Then we have Docs. This is a very secure area where you can upload any documents that you need for your contact, such as photos of their passports, driver's license, whatever it may be. Again, this is very secure. You do have to put in your password in order to view these documents. The last tab we have is Email. And if you'd like to learn more about integrating your email with Travify, please check out our Getting Started Guide video regarding that. And that's really all there is to it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and please check out our other Getting Started Guides found in our Support Center.